Samus hesitates to attack a baby Metroid that suddenly appears, and when Adam, shown here, uses a freeze gun to stop her, she collapses with Sector Zero right before her eyes. Adam was not the ringleader of the plot. Adam knows the Metroids in Sector Zero can't be frozen and decides to destroy them using a self-destruct protocol, what? which she activates, causing Sector Zero to detach and explode while Samus remains safely behind. Samus watches him go to his death, but finally understanding his intentions, she overcomes her sadness and heads towards room MW, mm. which he pointed out just before he met his end. Uh -huh. I still think he's behind the whole thing, but that's beside the point. Welcome back to Metroid Other M. Okay, so I've been thinking a lot about that dumpster fire of a scene we saw it's, last time. It's, it's something to think about. Uh, it's, it's indeed ponderous. Yeah, yes. it's. Uh, I, I would like to ponder the fact that, uh, yes, you were absolutely right. He basically... Uh, got rid of her ability to defend herself in front of a Metroid, which is a big-ass no-no. He didn't trust Samus, is what it boils down to. That's the most disgusting thing. He didn't trust Samus, and Samus didn't catch it, didn't pick up on that. I'm surprised she didn't, but then again, she is kind of a blithering idiot in this one. We're 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 kind of going uh, against all that. It's it's, it's very pro-patriarchy, and I'm not I'm not here for it. Nice shine spark, though. No, thank you. Thank Looks you. pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna head to room MW where uh, where MB is, or the the mother brain M AI, or whatever. NWMB, where the hell are we? Here's here's uh, where we fought Nightmare, of course. Hi, you disgusting, yeah, disgusting lob of yeah. gross. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you suck. <laughs> anyway, we you gotta be kidding. Well, all right, phase two of Nightmare. I was, Let's I was go. just about to joke about this. You're kidding me. Yep. We Th killed it ages ago. Nightmare phase two. Here we go. Please. So. Wait a minute, would you have been able to trigger this earlier? No, or, this is, this or just is, now? It's, it's just now. The trigger for this was some other point, but you got we gravity got, we, suit. We, we got the gravity suit, that's what the trigger was. Okay. I mean, we, we, killed, we, killed, we killed Adam. Adam's dead, and we're going back to do what he said. <laughs> we killed him. <laughs> oh my god, we killed him. That's probably how she thinks about all this, is like, I killed Adam. Actually, no, he kind of just sacrificed himself over a hunch. S Samus is overly bland, so I mean it when I could say she could be worse in this, but I'm just trying to find fake praise now. You're giving it a fair shake. You're trying. Yeah. I would have given up long ago, though. I, I, I'm, I am bending over backwards too much for this game sometimes. I, I think. don't think you should. It's bad for your health. Yeah. I mean, it, it, there's, there's plenty of other better Metroids I could be playing, but that's why I wanted to get this one out of the way. It's a bad case of Metroid Other M, sir. I hope you know it's fatal. It's like it's it's ruined potential, and that's the most frustrating. Oh, that part. was beautiful. That was a great shot. There, there's these these glimpses of such a great game behind all this, but such dumb decisions, and one guy who's in control of everything, and it just. Well, anyway, enough about that. Back to the game at hand. He's now launched this sort of like gravity beacon or something like that. Yeah, I now, noticed that. Now all of your shots will go into that. Oh. Interesting. So you have to play it just a bit differently. Yep, it, it just curves right into it. That thing goes away after some time, and you better be away when it happens. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. actually kind of mean, but I see how you can curve the bullet towards him, I guess? It's when does it go away? It, 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 it will here soon. Okay. I don't even think uh, missiles work. Pew. Nope. Well... There you go. It's, it's almost done. Oh. And... Kaboom! That took forever! <laughs> he's, he's almost dead, though. I think. We yeah, well, one more oh, shot. He's out of here. Wait. He's out of here. I didn't think that hit, but all right. Hey, we hey, take those. There, he's dead. Okay, we That did. was so much easier the second time, and now he has no arms. There's no way you can come back. All right, he's, like, like very dead. Ultra dead. Super dead. But that's the true nightmare. No! He just comes back. <laughs> God, this makes me want to play Fusion. I still haven't played it for myself. I know we did the LP and you showed me everything, but I still want to play it myself. It's on Switch Online. There's no excuse now. Oh, did it finally make it? Oh, shoot. Yeah, a while ago. Oh. Well, I'm just a silly goose, aren't I? You are a silly goose. <gasps> honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> honk, honk, bitch. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. All right, now, on to what we were supposed to be doing. <laughs> Sorry, that was we're, just really funny. We're going to the MW room. Right. 
so we can go take on the AI that's, uh -huh. that's launching all these Metroids and take, destroy it. Take on Mother Brain, yeah. And according to Adam, who I guess we have to trust in the context of the story, we cannot trust. Excuse me, Adam, I only trust living beings. That Madeline Bergman is no ally. If there's anything we can trust, you know, like, Adam's not involved, I don't, I don't believe that for a second. But, if, we, if there's one thing we can trust, is that Madeline Bergman is no ally. There is a missile up here. Now, how did we decide that? Just talking about Mother Brain and everything? Yeah, he, he just he just said that. He just says, I think you should know. My eyes kind of glazed over. Madeline Bergman is no ally. So, uh, I think we gotta go at least talk to that scientist lady. That that's, sounds good. I, I think that's in order. You know, I'm starting to think, why should we believe Adam? But then again, he would be the one to believe. He's just not a good judge of character, let's no, say that. No, he's not. He's just very bad at him. It's very contradictory. Yeah. He's, uh... They, they, Metroid Fusion says he's, he's this military genius, but he has proven that he is no military genius at all, having his entire crew wiped out like that, you know? You read me that wiki article after we were done recording the last couple episodes, should, should, and should, I died. Should I, should I read it? You should read it. Okay, I, I think you should I will. read it. Just, just, just a moment. For posterity, and also because it perfectly describes what everybody should be thinking at this point. Right, so this is the, uh, Met the uh, Metroid fandom wiki on Commander Adam Malkovich. They, you know, it, it goes on, like, his biography, his appearances, and all that, da da you know, his, his role in the story and all that. Just, just you know, uh, just tell the you know, details, tell you know, yeah. His, his role in Metroid Dread as the AI and all that. Description, personality, uh... We've got this one tab here called Character Criticisms. Uh-huh. The story of, of, of Metroid Other M has been harshly criticized and is seen by many to have negatively impacted Adam Malkovich's character. In the game's plot, Adam makes highly dubious decisions that contradict how Metroid Fusion's plot praised him as not only a military genius, but also as a person who deserved utmost respect and one of the few to genuinely care for Samus. Mm -hmm. Many fans believe Metroid Other M failed to provide evidence to these claims, but rather irreparably damaged Adam's reputation. Among these questionable decisions is Adam's order to have his team split into weaker, smaller groups in the <laughs> bottle ship. This is aggravated by the fact that the group had moments earlier battled the Brug Mass and was powerless to defeat it, if not for Samus. There was little doubt that more dangerous organisms would be present on the ship. Additionally, the ship's interference rendered communication channels between individual members useless, yep. putting the divided team into a more vulnerable position. Mm -hmm. Adam's choice to prohibit Samus' use of power-ups can be seen as an unreasonable order, as it gave the impression Adam did not trust her skills nor responsibility. Furthermore, Samus had at this point vast amounts of experience in completing missions on hostile planets, consequently making Adam appear condescending. While restricting power bombs was understandable, restricting other harmless skills such as the various suit made little sense. This came to a head with the infamous Hell Run sequence in the Pyrosphere, yep. where Adam did not authorize the use of the various suit until Samus was cornered by the Goyagma. It is to be noted, however, that the Japanese version had Adam advise Samus not to enter superheated rooms in this briefing, while the English version, yeah, 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 cause, cause she's, you know, reckless. Mm. Another criticism regarding Adam is his backstory <laughs> with Samus and Other M. In particular, the flashbacks as well as his relationship to Samus overall. In particular, a flashback revealed Samus left the Federation army out of regret for needlessly complicating the decision Adam had to make to sacrifice his brother Ian Malkovich. It is implied that his current cold treatment to Samus was the result of her leaving his command to become a bounty hunter after his incident. This contrasted with the manga, where Adam instead encouraged Samus to leave the military to fight to her for her personal ambitions. Hmm. Moments prior to his death, Adam makes yet another heavily criticized action, shooting Samus in the back with his freeze gun and rendering her powerless in front of a baby Metroid. Yep. Despite Adam killing the Metroid almost immediately to save her, he also revealed he presumed all Metroids in Sector Zero were immune to cold-based weapons, surprised and speculating that the young Metroid had yet to develop this trait. Adam had therefore gambled with Samus's life by shooting her first and shooting the Metroid second, as he admits he wasn't sure he could have stopped the creature from feeding on her. That was probably the most damning thing in that last cutscene is the fact that he shot her first. That's that's the thing. He in, shot her first instead of the Metroid. Yes. The threat. Fun fact. Yeah. 
the uh, elevator voice here. Oh, okay. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I baked a cake for you. Really? Leslie Swan. Oh, that's fun. It's a fun little tidbit. Had to go from hating on, Mal on Adam Malkovich again and talk about something neat. I like Easter eggs. Yeah, that's neat. Especially since Metroid's not known for having voices in the game, so it's just interesting to hear. Yeah, well, I mean, you know Prime 3 has voice acting. I did know that, yes. Yes. Even though we haven't been there yet, I have seen that there are fully voiced scenes in Metroid Prime 3. We're going to see how they do it well. I mean, they keep Samus a silent protagonist. Which is hilarious because doesn't she have to talk to other bounty hunters? <laughs> or they talk to her. Talk I, at her. Well, yeah, but I think she responds with body language quite well. <laughs> or, you know, a look. Just like a tilted head, maybe. Huh? So you can be really expressive with this, uh, with, with the suit, you know, the way she moves and all that. But instead, we have to, we have to, you know, reduce the opacity in her visor so we can see her face and let her know what she's really thinking. We gotta take the suit off to let her know that, you know, we really see what she's feeling. See, this is what I have really enjoyed about going through the Metroid series, is how subtle it is. Mm -hmm. And Dread kind of really took that home where you still have silence, but you see immediate reactions, like when, uh... It's not Razorbeak. What's the main baddie's name? Uh, Ravenbeak. Ravenbeak, excuse me. Uh, the first thing she does is just immediately readies up the weapon when she finds out this is a threat. <laughs> I just like that. A lot of subtlety in this series, and I can't believe that it took that long to get Dread out and have it be good. I well, again, I can see why they why they delayed Dread, because Dread deals a lot of darkness, and I don't think the DS nor the GBA could handle that kind oh, of darkness. Oh, definitely no. It, it needed a console. I feel like it, it uh, the, the art style of Dread is just, just beautiful. I could, I could, I could... One of the best things about Metroid are the backgrounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the locales and backgrounds of Metroid Dread are some of my favorites. I love, I love the, uh, you know, the... I mean, if you look at Super Metroid, the backgrounds that they have there are quite, quite intricate. Very nice. Very, very yes. intricate. You know, a Met Metroid Zero Mission, it had like this uh, dark, yes. heavily, heavily inked kind of style that they had going on. Even, even Metroid Fusion, even though it was based in, uh, in, in, in the BSL, every, every place felt distinct. You know, the, uh, you know, the, you had the, the overly vegetation areas of uh, Sector One. You got the offices that you had in Sector Five, where it was all like cold and, you know kind of, you know, technical or whatever. And you know, I'll give Other End this. It's a very pretty game still, and they have the environments perfectly. They're a little flat, though, I think. Are you kidding? We just ran through, like, a foresty area. It yep. was not flat. A foresty area, but it's it's all just... I don't know. It's, it's not boring. I mean, every place looks different. There are no two areas that look the same. It could be better, though. What are you talking it's about? Different. I mean... There's a lot of these uh, boring space corridors, though, that lead that link from room to room. I'm not saying they're all, you know, knock it out of the park, but I still think they got the feeling down. One thing I really hate about uh, this game is, is the minimap. The minimap does not behave at all. I noticed while you were space jumping, it kind of lost the floor because you were above it too much. It keeps, like, it doesn't tell me where north is on the minimap, which would have just been a simple thing to add. N. Just, just put an N there. Hi, oh, Riddles. We found Ridley. Let's see what he's up to. I think he's probably gonna be probably regenerate or something like that. So. Oh, well. Chewing on Anthony. Something's coming. The deleter. Ooh, that looks like something bad. That's a big old monster. Ah, it's gonna finish off Riddles. Oh, he seems a little fearful. Yep, trying to escape. No! I'm sure he's fine. He has a way of getting past things. Me likey. I am... I'm enjoying this little setup. Mm. A monster that Ridley fears. Ooh. Mm. I wonder what that could be. Ah. It's probably like Mother Brain or something silly like that. Or maybe it got killed by a Metroid. Alright, we gotta get back to that, uh... 
restricted area. Let's take a little pit stop here at the 7-Eleven. We're still here at the Bioworks... The, uh, Bioworks. Bio the bi Bioweapon <laughs> Research Center. The Bioware Research Center, yes. Bioware Research Center. Yes. Now that we don't have, uh, Madeline Bergman telling us to, oh, don't worry about here, go over to where that is now. We take care of the Metroid, so now we can just focus on taking out the ship, I suppose, and hang on a second. This one's easy, just look at the corpse. Wait, corpse? Hang on! James. James. Well. It's still out there. That means that this is we're, what we're supposed to gather from this is that the, the deleter was James. Wait, what? The leader was James. What do you mean? Because he's the last one alive. Remember in that cutscene where, you know, we see, you know, that, 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 dude, that dude walking down the stairs? And Madeline turns around and then you hear a gunshot as it cuts to black? Well, oh, right, this is where we saw her. Well, it turns out uh, he oh. didn't shoot first. Hilarious. James is the deleter. Oh. So Anthony did die when he got thrown off the cliff, because we never actually saw him die. Well, it, uh, what, do you want to see him burning alive in the lava? I want to see him actually be the deleter. <laughs> I think that would be a very stupid plot twist, and I'm all about it. Well, you got plenty of plot left to go, don't you worry. Plenty of plot left to go? There can't be much more! We got the gravity suit! So? We don't got all the power-ups yet. I, I can't wait until we grab those power bombs. By the way, that's gonna be amazing. Or don't you don't you worry, access don't you? to use don't you, don't you worry? We still got plenty of game left to go. I mean, look, we haven't we haven't gotten all the power ups yet. We don't have all the heat tanks. We have nowhere near enough missiles yet. UDJ, let me know that he is not telling me when this game is ending. Nope. It is just going to end. It's just gonna stop. And I like that surprise. Okay. 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 All right. All right. And credits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, definitely five out of ten. <laughs> they left out the ending. What, were they going to put it in dread when they finally released it 12 years later? I could tell by the way fans were selling my game immediately <laughs> after buying it that it didn't go over well with them. I could feel their disappointment as they began to trash me online for my terrible voice acting trash. and nonsensical narration. Oh man, you know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. Dread's been out for two years. It'll be two years later this year, man. <sighs> man, it's a good game. That's that's amazing. First of all, that time has flown that fast, and second of all, we've had Dread for two years. Oh, fade to white. All right, cutscene time. Yeah, a lot of a lot of that goop around here. Yeah, icky. Don't like the goop. Don't like okay. the goop either. Where is all this goop leading, though? Hmm. A giant box with a carrot underneath it. Oh! -ho! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa! Well. He gone. You want to know why Ridley's not in Metroid Dread? That's why he got <laughs> moitalized. He's dead. Very dead. He's like, he's dead. This is the end of Ridley. He has not shown up in the canon since this moment. He is fucking dead. But he was in fusion. No, oh, a, 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 uh, the X using the remains of him okay. was in fusion. That's okay. how you get Ridley in fusion. But he's dead. He's fucking dead. This is what the X infect to make meta Ridley or whatever he is. X, Ridley X? Uh, uh, yeah, Ridley X is fine. X Ridley because he's, he's no more? Hmm. Rip. Rip Ridley. Mm -hmm. Ripley. He gone. Believe it or not. That's actually kind of haunting. Ugh. Main antagonist gone. That looks familiar. Rinkos! Wait a second. Mother Brain! Looking at the map here, this kind of... It kind of looks like Torian! It's just, this, like, looking at the map, it feels like Torian, too. Ah. Ah. We got this, uh, the flaming spaghetti is coming our way. This I thought is... that was in Sector Zero. Yeah, that's apparently here. I mean, that's where all the Metroids are, but what's here? Secret missile door. 
a, a monster worse than Metroids. Two Metroids. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's close. I just see a bunch of spaghetti is coming at your visor. No, 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 no. What else you got, well, fake Torian? What else you got? We're gonna stop here, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, that we makes got sense. a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah, I was just thinking. A lot this... of stuff coming up. I mean, it's Torian, of course. So yeah. we gotta we gotta save it for next time, though. But uh, gonna be touring Torian the next time. My friend, I do not think you're ready for what's gonna happen next time. Bring it on. I will bring it on. Bring it on. I hope that you are ready for it to be brought on because it will be brought next time on Metroid. Other M. <laughs> <laughs>